Hey yeah, I'm Armin from Placid, and in this video we will automate the creation of video slideshows through Zapier. We will make it so that they can be dynamically generated from multiple images and in the end we will also add some animations. To make this work I have prepared an Airtable as our data source with images inside of it and to make it more usable I set it up to work as a nice shareable form that you can use in your workflows. Also, I've prepared a Placid project with a template. A Placid template is similar to a design in Canva or Photoshop, but it can be filled with data to auto-generate visuals. Using one of our many integrations, you can fill text and media layers with your data to create images, PDFs, or as we do today, videos. And for Zapier, I've created essentially two Zaps, and now we're gonna dive in and see how the whole setup works. Let's start by exploring our data source. To uh, keep all our data in one place, I've created a simple Airtable with essentially three fields. Uh, the first two are the video tagline and the images. So this is kind of the, the, the content of the video. And the third column is the one where we will store the created video. I've already created a few. Let's open it up. Look, it's welcome to your new paradise. This is the tagline from the first column. And then we just cycle through the images. First one, second one, last one. And that's it, three images and image got uh, video got created and video got sent back into our column. And to maybe make it even nicer, I have also created a form view, like here. Um, I haven't done anything uh, here besides hiding the, the video column as it makes no sense to, to have it on the form. And, and by, doing, by, by creating this new form, we now can share it. We can use it like this and just enter a new tagline here, attach our images, hit submit, and then the magic should happen and, and, and Zapier should create the video and, and send it back into the air table, right? All right, this was the first part, the Airtable part. Now switch to Placid. Um, I've set up a new Placid project and also added a, a, a e-commerce template, or, or I copied this from an e-commerce preset. And essentially what we're doing is we take the data, what, what we're doing with Zapier is we take the data out of the Airtable and fill it into this template. So essentially this layer here, the image layer, is going to get filled with all the images and the tagline. So the images are getting filled and this video tagline field is going field is, is getting filled into the text layer here. Then we are going, then Placid creates an image. It gets sent back to Zapier and Zapier gets the image, uh, gets the video and sends it back into the air table. This is a super easy uh, uh, process with just two steps. Now let's hop over to Zapier. So uh, essentially it, it, it's built up in, in two steps. Since the video generation can take a bit, uh, like, like a few minutes, um, depending on the amount of images you put in, it's definitely the best way to, to set it up with, with a Placid trigger. So uh, from a bird's eye view, you can see in the first step, we get a new video. So we get triggered when uh, a new row gets posted into Airtable, we take the row, we send it to Placid, and in the second step, when Placid has finished creating a new video, we send it back to Airtable. Now let, let's have a look. I'm going to go in the edit mode as it's a bit easier. So as soon as we get a new record in our Airtable, we, we just listen to the new record table, uh, to the new record event, we can find the trigger here. This is our base, the video slideshow, the table, table one. Doesn't matter, we, we take every field in this, in this configuration and we will get like the video tagline, we get our images field and this is everything because we just have two, right? So, and in our next step, we send this data over to Placid into just to create video action, that's all you need. We just have create image, create PDF, create video, 
everything is, is as easy as this. Let's see. We have our action. I've selected just I've selected my template here. By selecting the template, uh, Sapir will automatically display all the layers that we have here. We have the image layer here and the text layer. Like so, it's just the text layer and the image layer is super simple to use. Um, and essentially what, what we did here, for example, the text layer gets the video tagline field. That's the, the one from the first step. It's just called video tagline. Here's the example. That's it. And for the image field, uh, we just need like the, the field representation of multiple images. And uh, we don't have to do anything else because Airtable gives it to us already in a usable format. And, and, and Placid knows how, how to take it from Sapir and, and directly put it in a, in a video slideshow. So it looks like this. They have it uh, image with thumbnails full URL. Let's see, image with thumbnails full URL, yes. This one is like we have different sizes. We could also take just the large size, but this is the, the original size out of the air table or at least 3000 by 3000 pixels. And uh, these are always all images that are currently inside of this field. So we are able to, to receive them by just uh, setting one single field into our image. And uh, uh, similarly, if, if you'd like to, to fill a video, not with multiple images, but with like one video, like if you have an MP4 that you would like to have inside of the, the image frame, you can just drop a link to the video here and do that as well. All right, so this, this was it for the content. This is already enough. And at the end, we need uh, to fill the pass through text field. Um, this field is the field that will be uh, can contain content that will be available when the trigger gets triggered. So if we are in another step, in the step where the video has been finished, we need to know which record of Airtable we are currently working on. So this is this is everything. Like um, I'm giving in here the ID of the current record, and so in the next step we can um, update the, the correct record without having too much work with it. That, and this way we can keep it with, with two steps that are only one step, like right? one, one trigger and one action, which also makes it work on the free plan then as well. Hit continue, so let's go back. So what we've done now, we've took the data from the air table, we create the video in Placid, or, or we send the data to Placid and tell it, yo, create the video for me. Sit back. And then after the video gets created, we want, what, edit. We want uh, to trigger when there is a new video in Placid. So when there is a new video in Placid, we want to get notified. And this SAP should start. This is an instant trigger. So at the time when the video is done, uh, this SAP will be triggered and automatically gets the new video. And also, of course, the pass through value, as this is very important for us. It's not in the example now, but, but you get the idea. Now, in the second step, everything we need to do now is just to update the air table. We have everything we need. We can just use the update record method. Let's click to the action. We are updating the base video slideshow, our table. We have uh, the record ID because we've put it into the pass through. And then we have the, the, the three columns here, but we just want to fill in the video URL into the Placid video field. This is just the link to, to the MP4 as Placid delivers it. You put it in and it will show up in the in the Airtable. It's as easy as that. I will just do it now once. Let's see. I will open up our form. Find your next home. <laughs> Attach some Images, one, two. 
upload it. Now I hit submit. We can see in our slideshow in the grid view, it has been added. We have no video yet. So um, since the Airtable trigger is not an instant one, it can take a few minutes, depending on your current Zapier plan, it can take from one minute to I think 15 minutes and then it will run and uh, uh, start off the video generation. Since I don't know when uh, Zapier is polling the Airtable trigger the next time, I will just start it manually to show you how, how a run looks. Let's start, let's run this. Looking for new records. Triggered on one new record. This means uh, you, we should be able to see the video generation happening in Placid now. Yes. Uh, so the first ZAP has run, this one, and sent all the data to Placid. <coughs> and now after the video got created, we should have it be we, we should have placid trigger the second step uh the second step and that one sends it back into our air table let's see it should be finished in a few seconds yes the clip got created and have a look in our air table oh, already here nice let's see let's hit play there it is, find your next home. That's our text. One image, two images. Nice, isn't it? Cool. So, uh, to end this part, um, this is a super easy way to, to create nice shareable videos out of static imaginary that you have. And you can even have it as your own form and new workflows, share that with your team. And of course, add many more text fields or other media on, on top of it and, and design your template uh, as the way you want it and brand it to be according to your business. As a next step, we could also add some animations to those videos because they don't have to be just static slideshows, right? So let's have a look. Let's go to our template, edit it. And right here under configure animations, we can find our animation settings. So this is our wizard. Uh, in the first step, we see some basic animations like fade in, staggered fade in, which just fades in every layer or slides it in like so. That's already pretty neat. We can also have it like fade in and out, uh, slide in and slide out after the video got finished. Let's go with a fade for the first step. And then in the next step, in the, in the customization step, we can uh, fine tune every layer how we want it. So for example, I want the text layer. This is this one. I want it not to fade in, but to slide in up instead. Yep. And the logo maybe from the right. Slide in from the right, and you can you can define like the delay when it comes, how long, the easings, durations, whatever. You can see from the bottom, pretty cool. And you can define it for every layer that we have in our template. And then of course we want to have some animation for the images itself, like like the image slideshow. We can have it here under image. This is the, the layer here in the middle. And there we have now an active and a value transition. Um, at Placid, for, for videos, we have the philosophy to give you the tools or, or the, the frame to, to make your automation as seamless as possible. So we try to adapt the video onto your content. So this means, for example, you, you tell us like with a minimum duration of four seconds, you tell us this layer 
should be visible or this current input should be visible for four seconds, which means if you enter one image, this will be seen for four seconds. If you add another image, this will also be seen for four seconds. So the total time of the, of the video goes to eight seconds. So we make sure that everything works and, and you don't have to care about, about a timeline or any editing like that, that all the animations will always work. And we have a Ken Burns effect. Let's add that one. Yeah, makes it nice, right? Ken Burns effect, the minimum duration. Let's hit it back to, to auto. And then we have also value transition. The value transition happens when you change from, from one image to the next. So we could have crossfade where you fade one image out and the other in. Have a look. Looks like this. Oh, this is already nice. Or we could can totally fade out an image and, and fade the other image in. Let's take the crossfade. Yeah, that's nice. Cool. Gonna apply that. Save it. And uh, now we are going to create a new slideshow with our form. Ah. Okay. Your dream home <laughs> with some images. Let's upload some images here. Free now. Upload it. Submit. Then we are going to start the SAP again. Triggered on one new record, so it should create the video. All right. I will fast forward now so we can just look at the finished product. All right, the finish the image has been created. Let's head back to our air table. And there it is. Now we should have a nice animated video. There we go. <laughs> Ken Burns effect. Crossfading into the next. Ken Burns effect. Crossfading. Cool, isn't it? Restart to see the start again. Awesome. Okay, nice. I hope you liked this tutorial and if you want to know more about it or have any ideas what, on, on why could, what I could do next or if you think that we have some, we need some features that are missing, just let me know, write in the comments or send me an email. Thank you. Bye. So that's it for this automation. You will find a link to our blog post with a step-by-step -step recap of this tutorial in the description. Try it out and tell us what you think.